In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this function. Let's go ahead and do it. So the first step when finding the inverse is to replace your function with y. So we'll set y equal to x over x plus 1. The second step when finding the inverse of a function is to switch your x and y. So here I'm going to call this x, and then here we'll call these y's. This is y over y plus 1. And the third step is the hardest step. We actually have to um, solve for y. So what we'll do is we'll clear the fractions. I'm going to go ahead and write it again down here. And then to clear the fractions, we'll just multiply both sides by y plus 1. So parentheses y plus 1, parentheses y plus 1, just like that. Boom. Now we can distribute the uh, x here on the left. So x times y is xy. And then x times 1 is just x. And this is equal to y. And now you know we're looking for y. So the goal is to get all of the y's on one side so that we can actually factor out a y. So I guess one way to do that would be to subtract the xy from both sides. So minus xy minus xy. That leaves us with x equals y minus xy. And we're looking for y, so we can factor it out now. So x equals y parentheses. And let's see, what times y gives us y? Well, 1. And what times y gives us xy? Well, x, like that. y is being multiplied by all of this. So to solve for it, we'll just divide by all of this. So divided by 1 minus x, divided by 1 minus x. These cancel, so we get y equals x over 1 minus x. The very last step, so we'll call it step 4, is to write the final answer using the proper notation. So the notation for the inverse function is f inverse of x, and that's equal to x over 1 minus x. That would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.